Hello! So this room may look a little different, and there is a reason why. This is my new Guildford room! I know it doesn't look like much. This is pre-makeover, even though the makeover is going to be absolutely and utterly not that much different to what it is now. But this is my week in Guildford. So I am staying here for a week. One of my roommates is actually already here too. She's staying for the week as well. So I haven't filmed much. Like it is, what time is it now? It's about eight o'clock because today has basically just been all about traveling and sorting. So we left at like half 10 this morning. We got into the house about... 320 we had seven cases trying to get on the northern line tube you know god god was trying to help us and he did his best so you know life was okay we made it but it's guildford so it's a lot warmer here and so we were roasting i was dying not roasting i was i was actually dying but it's fine because we're here now and i haven't really filmed anything today i filmed a couple of clips in primark trying to be edgy so here they are Clearly you can tell my vlogs are not made for being like satisfying, they are just made for pure chaos because that's what my life is. But then we went to Lidl's and got some food for the week and a couple of essentials for when I move in at the end of the month, which by the time you're watching this is probably like a couple of weeks. But basically I'm going to try and vlog the week and take you along with me and all that good stuff. So yeah, maybe you can hear people or maybe it's a ghost. It's quite a frame, but that didn't work. Hello. It is Wednesday morning. If you can't tell, I'm a little bit tired and my voice is a bit bleh. But uh, yeah, it is 20 past eight in the morning. I didn't sleep amazingly, but it's fine. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do today. We're gonna see if we can get rush tickets for a show. We got rush tickets for Frozen on Monday, so we're seeing that tomorrow. And we're gonna see if we can either see Phantom of the Opera or Life of Pi today. But we don't know if that's gonna happen. We don't know if we're gonna get these okay seats. So like, you know, we're just gonna have to wait and see, but I need to get ready. So that's what I'm gonna do now. You couldn't tell what that was? One of my foundations exploded. I went all over the table. That's part of my deposit. But I cleaned it and I think it's okay. So, thank God. <laughs> done i mean it's not great but honestly i'm just dealing with it because i can't bother doing it any better i may add a bit of bronzer because i'm a little bit pale but now i need to do my hair and get ready and do whatever i don't really know i think this is going to be my outfit for today i'm not in love with these shorts because they are slightly too big but it's fine i may accessorize and do my hair in a different way i just rushed it for now because i can't be bothered but you know, I actually have no idea where these are from. I think this is from Zara or Zara adjacent store, aka Burj Kapoor and Burj, I don't know, it's one of those. I have no idea where these shorts are from because they are literally age 14. I have these shorts for over five years, so probably from my new look somewhere. But I'll put it on the screen if I care to look. There you go. It is a little bit later. I'm still just as tired. We did not get rush tickets, but that's okay because we have quite a bit of stuff to do in Guildford anyway. Not really much to say. I still need to accessorize, but I just can't be bothered. I have a lot of muscle aches in my shoulders because fun fact about me, I have absolutely no body strength. That's okay. Anyway. <laughs> oh, I'm so tired. I'm in Primark. I'm getting masses of social anxiety. There's too many people here. I don't like it. Peppa, what are you doing in my Primark? That was an actually awful joke. Like I'm actually cringing on myself. I'm honestly just walking around in the kids section because like there's nobody here. Okay, I've got to now go back into the kids section so people aren't following me. I had to come back because I didn't have any hangers. So we've got hangers. I need a couple more decorations in my room as well, but I'm just praying no one's massively staring at me. So I'm gonna go. Okay, bye. Now I'm in Zara. I just saw someone who works at Zara go through a portal in the door. That is no joke, you can see it. That's why I stopped my recording because someone was walking past me. That's so weird. I'm freaked out. I also, I don't belong in Zara. I really don't. I don't know how to shop. So, like, I know this. And also, none of it fits me properly because I'm not proportioned like someone who's my size. I mean, it's a nice store, it has nice clothes, but like, what am I gonna do, you know? In Zara, you can literally just get all these basics, which is great. Also, this wasn't the most right. This jacket, right? 
I think if someone told me that this was like a Givenchy jacket, I'd honestly believe that. I'm not even joking. Also, I saw this dress. And it is absolutely gorgeous. The only problem is, it won't fit me. Because I've got boots. I'm now in TK Maxx. It's not as busy in here, so I feel okay filming. But I'm still going to wear this like literally you nobody. Know, I don't know the truth. I did get a jacket in Zara, so I might show that later. I might do a haul if I feel edgy enough to do that. But honestly, this is a type of that, but I'm actually loving this fit today. I think I look okay, which is different for what. Also, I just saw this. This is the one that I use, keratin. I use a couple others, like um, I might do a whole video on that. But that is the one that I use. Routine, smooth. TK Maxx are honing in on the sexist agenda. We're looking for fitness stuff. And it's here, in the men's section. <laughs> Yoga mats. I'm not made for this heat. You can't tell, it's a bit hot today. It was sunny yesterday, apparently it's been a heat wave, which for me is not good. I'm just, I'm not made for the heat. And it's hot. I am sat at a nice little area, don't really know I'm here apparently, Tonsgate, don't know where that is, or if that's even a thing. But I'm still tired, of course I am, it's me, when am I ever not tired? It's still really awkward, talking in front of a camera. I do hate this, but I'm doing it for you guys, so you better be grateful. What can I do? Helicopter, helicopter. Sorry, I saw a helicopter and then was like, I have to make that joke. I know you're probably looking at me like, Hope, why are you at home? It's the middle of the afternoon. Well. When I was sitting on that bench, which you just saw, I got a call from my roommate who's also here at the same time as me. Also ignore the sweating, it's it's pretty visible. And basically she got locked into the house. So I had to come back here and open it from the outside so she could get to an interview. But we're in and it's so hot. Ugh. We actually look tanned in this angle. Maybe she used angle more <laughs> But yeah, so she got locked in. We got her out. I don't really know. Oh God, I can't hold this straight. I don't really know what I'm gonna do. I think I'm probably gonna eat because I haven't eaten in a while. Maybe do something else, I don't know. It's hot and it's like 30 degrees. Manchester, Manchester people aren't made for this. It's never this warm. But anyway, seen a bit. Just doing a bit of cooking. Cooking some beef and some water. The hardest thing to make in cooking history. This is my lunch. As you can tell, it was made by me. Low effort. I'm getting used to the life of a student, what can I say? So I've finished cooking. It does need to cool down. I have portioned it off. And I need to freeze that at some point. I couldn't figure out if the freezer's working. It wasn't turned off, so it's fixed now. But I think we're gonna head out again. So, you know, I'm gonna do that. Hello. I know the last time you saw me was me leaving, but um not a lot happened and nor did I film. <laughs> we were on the lookout for a tin opener. Can't find one. You'd think it'd be easy, but apparently it's not. So that's a problem because I have tins that can't be opened. I don't know what I'm gonna do now. I'm tired and hot. It's too hot here. It's like 4 p.m. Just after 4 p.m. Too tired and hot for this. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, not much has happened since you last saw me, but I just finished watching Drag Race season two. I'm just going through them all, don't judge me. But I just noticed something and it's gonna really get on my nerves. So this is my doorknob. Why is it over the wood? Like here, why is this? Oh, I'm, I'm focusing with my finger. Why is it over this? That is so annoying. <laughs> I also have a fireplace, which doesn't work, but whatever. Friday. It feels like I've been here for literally ever, and I've been here not even two days, which is crazy because I've been very busy, even though you probably haven't seen most of it. But today is Friday. The plan for today is to go to London, and I'm seeing Frozen West End tonight. So that should be fun. I need to have a shower, so that's what I'm going to do now. And, you know, we're just going to go from there. So yeah, not really much to report, but, <laughs> you know, I feel like I should film. Yesterday I put foundation on and in the middle of a heat wave, it was a big mistake. So I think today I'm gonna do this tinted moisturizer. I've never used it before. It's SPF 50, which is more than enough. And oh my God, at this angle, I genuinely have aged 50 years. But I'm gonna use this. 
flawless coverage color correcting do i know anything about it no but we're gonna try it i'm gonna see if it works well this is not sponsored by the way i don't have enough subscribers to do that but anyway i'm gonna say like coming to the light it doesn't really cover up my scar that well just my favorite so i will have to conceal that like you always do and i mean i am very very shiny but not bad at all and to think this is from aldi aldi she has much to know about skincare but i'm impressed Ooh. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Okay, so makeup is done. I know you can't really tell. Hold on, I'll move you. Yeah. Oh, it's bright. I have a nice tan though. But like, I just did a bit of eyeshadow. A little bit of bronzer and blush there. Yeah. A bit of tinted moisturizer. A little bit of powder. Me look less sweaty. But now, I'm gonna do jewelry. So, I'm not really a jewelry person, but I fancied wearing some today. So, I was thinking I have purple and like cream on, so I was thinking silver is probably the better way to go. So, I have these little star earrings, which I think are quite cute. Yeah. Which I think are quite cute. So, I think I'm gonna wear these. I do have bigger ones. I have like these, but I just think these are too chunky and they're gonna start bothering me. I also have rings, but my thing is I'm gonna get sweaty. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wear earrings and a necklace. And I don't really have that many necklaces with me. I have two silver ones of different lengths. So I think I'm gonna wear the short one and then we'll just see how that is. This is the outfit of choice because you couldn't tell. There's a massive heat wave going on right now. So shirt is from Primark, skirt is from Sheen, and then these shoes are from Pull&Bear. They're brand new, so I'm taking a risk by wearing them. Oh, twist my ankle. Because, you know, could get blisters, but I have plasters, so pray for me. But we're gonna have fun, we're gonna go. I just realized I left some things out of my outfit, so I'm gonna do that before we go. And so this bag is from Primark, which I got it the other day. And these glasses are also from Sheen, I know. But yeah, let's go. Can you see the London eye? London Bridge is falling down, but it's not because we're on it. I am not seeing either of these shows, but it's cool to walk past us there. So that's the Adelphi, but it's the features on there, and then six is on at the Vaudeville. Very cool. Okay, but this is so cute. It's the Royal Opera House. This is where all like, the ballets and stuff are. But I think this one's so cute. And you can tell it's super fancy, so you know that's where the ballet is. I hope you like these glasses in the sunlight. We actually walked yeah, past the theatre already, but we have like two and a half hours to kill, so I'll probably see it then. Bye! I found this, and it's quite cool. Hold on. Imagine how much cooler you'll be in summer. It's very cute. I'll say that. It's very, very cute. And it's changed its colour. Just walking through Chinatown. It's very, very cute over here. Loving the aesthetic. And obviously the infusion of culture. That too. <laughs> Who knew that Primark had so many fake plants? Oh, also, Halloween decorations. <laughs> it's August. We were just in Primark and then all of a sudden the fire alarm went off and everyone had to evacuate. And it was really loud, but we managed to pay, so we didn't have to wait around. So it was okay. I am at the theatre, I'm going to show you right now. It's really big. There it is. Frozen. Woo, let's go. Look at those jewels. Bro. This is the view. We're a bit to the side, but it's not, it's not good. It's not bad, even. Yeah, it's over. It was very good. I'm going home. Uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Anyone fancy some Kylie cosmetics? <laughs> So, just got out of Frozen, it's very good, and now I'm gonna go home. Well, I say home, it's not home yet, but it will then. It's original costumes from shows, which I think is very cool. Hello, sorry about the background noise, but it's hot, so the window is open. Last night was a long night. Unfortunately, there was um, an accident on the train lines, which meant that all the trains were stopped. And so we got on the train at around 10 to 10 and the train didn't leave till 20 past 12 and we didn't get home till around two. So it was a very long day yesterday. I'm quite tired, couldn't tell. I had a shower this morning. I was gonna film my hair because I took it out of the French flats and it was very curly, but I was just too tired to, so I didn't end up doing that. But I did manage to get brush tickets for this afternoon. 
So I am going to see Phantom of the Opera on the West End today. Woohoo! And again, we haven't got like the most phenomenal seats, but they are in the stores. It's like row J, I think. So like not too bad for £30 each. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. And then I think I'm just going to come back and chill after that. I have a swivel chair now, if you didn't notice. But yeah, I'm tired today, so I don't know what I'm going to do. There is Trafalgar Square for my little thing for you. And if you can see it, there, yeah, just round behind it, is Nelson's Column, which I never realised was that tall. Also, giant ice cream. I don't know why. Also, I know I'm walking, but I'm going to do my outfit. Sunglasses are from Primark, obviously. The bag is also from Primark. This just is from Sheen, and I know I do it every time, but you know, whatever. And my shoes are from Nike. Simple as. Woohoo. This is where we are. So weird. Even though we're in J, it's actually like really close to stage. We've come out of the show and now we're just taking a leisurely stroll in Green Park. Sorry for the shaky camera. You're just gonna have to deal with that. Buckingham Palace. Ooh, oh, so pretty. Very grand job and also bloody massive. I've never cared for politics. But oh, this is in Downing Street. Hello. I'm not gonna lie, I do not remember the last time I filmed something. I think it was yesterday coming out of the show, but I could be wrong. Now, if you can't tell, I'm very tired. That's totally about it. Also very warm. The heat wave is seemingly never ending, and I'm praying for it to end. I am getting more freckly though. I have noticed that, so that's something. This is the outfit of today. This is from Primark. Again, don't remember where these are from, but they're really old, so who knows if you can sell them anymore. God, it's warm. I would show you my feet, but I'm not about to get my feet on wiki feet, so there's that too. But today, it was just a chill morning. But later, we are going into Woking, which is where my school is. And then later, we may be going to the cinema because I may have wrote my mum to go in to watch the new John Peel film because I really want to see it. But I don't know what I'm going to update you next. Not sure. So I'll see you there. This will be where I'm staying for the year. Well, not staying, but training Italia Conti and then this is just an aside but if you can see behind me there's like this weird water feature and it smells like the traffic center if you've ever been to the traffic center it smells like the water in the traffic center hello oh what was that my voice went <clears throat> I know I haven't filmed a lot today, but it's mainly just because I've been very tired <laughs> and like just been like, oh, don't really want to. I've done over 10,000 steps every single day for like five days. Genuinely, after Thursday, we got here on Wednesday, I had already done more steps than I'd done the total last week. So I'm exhausted. <laughs> but I think we're going to a cinema, which nope. Ugh. I'm actually so excited because this is the first time I'll be seeing a Jordan Peele in cinema because I'm old enough and I love Jordan Peele. So. Very excited. Hopefully we're not going to disturb anybody. Plenty. We've never had this before. Hello. I know you haven't seen me in like two whole days, but John Legage just walked past me. He just walked past me. If you don't know who that is, he's on the West End. That was great. I love that. That was great. <laughs> 